Welcome back everyone, Von Stickers here with another Stalker Gamma Tips video for you. Today we're going to be looking at broken tasks, bugged missions, and how we can get rid of those, deal with those, get them off your task list. So, occasionally you'll find yourself with a task that you just can't hand in. You'll have the items for it or whatever, but you'll go and see the person who gave you the task and there'll be no option to hand it in, no option to cancel it, they just won't want to talk to you about a task as if it never happened. So what we're going to do is we're going to run through a couple of little processes that can get rid of those for you out of the way and allow you to continue with your game. So as I said, there are two methods to do this and that's because the task scripts are stored in two different places. I think this is because of the original game and the, the modded versions that have come thereafter. So there's two locations where the tasks can be stored. So let's look at the first one. This is method one. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your gamma mod organizer and in the bottom right corner where I've circled just type in st underscore quest and that will open up a file explorer above for you. So up above where you typed in ST Quest in the file explorer, you want to expand the game data folder, then expand the configs, and then text, and then ENG. And you'll find a file that's for some reason highlighted in red called Gamma Dynamic Task Balance. That's the one you want. Then all we do is right click on that file and hit reveal in explorer it'll open up an explorer window and all you've got to do there is you'll see the stquests general.xml file if you right click on that and hit open with and then choose the editor of your choice even notepad works is basic but it will do the job so what you'll be looking at now is a file with all of the task scripts in it. Uh, now this is the tricky part. What you've got to do is you've got to do some digging here to find the task that refers to the, your task in game. There's a few ways to do this. The easiest is to uh, use Control F and type in some keywords like, I don't know, uh, patches or bandit or whatever. Try and um, have a look through to see if you can find what your task is going to be. In my case, I'm playing as a bandit and I've been tasked to find some uh, patches. It doesn't particularly matter which faction the patches are for, but this is the task text that I need for mine. So we're looking at the part that says simulation underscore task underscore 20 underscore name. That's the bit you want to uh, keep hold of. Keep a window open with that on because you're going to need this shortly. It can be a little bit of trial and error trying to find the right task, but it doesn't hurt to try them. If it doesn't work, search again and find the appropriate one. Okay, so now you've got your task text, we need to go back into the game and hit F7 to bring up the console. And you're looking for this option down at the bottom right here, which is uh, NPC logic slash execute. Just click that and it'll open up this window. Don't worry about all this stuff in the top. What we're looking for is this bottom area here. Now you're going to paste in a piece of code, that's what it looks like and I'll make sure to put a message uh, in the description that shows this so you'll be able to copy and paste it. But that's what we're looking for, you need to paste that in there. Once you've done that, remember this simulation task part, we just need to change that number. So change that to your number. And then hit execute. And there you go, your task is complete. What you'll get now is you'll get your rewards automatically, you won't need to talk to anyone, it will just act as if the task completed and it'll remove it from your log. Okay, so that was the first method. Remember there are two methods to do this. The second method is a little bit more fiddly, but not too bad. So let's jump on into that one. And this is if you couldn't find your task in the, the way we've just done it. If it wasn't there, then the chances are it's a, an original stalker task. So we need to look somewhere else for that file. So for this next part, you're going to want to navigate to your anomaly folder in Windows Explorer. For me, that's uh, C drive anomaly. And then you want to go to the tools folder after that. The reason for this is the files you're going to need are packed and you won't be able to view them in their current state. So you're going to need to unpack them. Now you can use the file you'll see that's called dbunpacker.bat. I couldn't get that to work personally, that just unpacks the uh, individual files. So I use the one underneath that which is dbunpackerall.bat. And what that will do is that will create you a folder within there called unpacked. Once you've got your unpacked folder, navigate through that to configs, misc and task. 
and within that you'll find a whole bunch of files. Now if you're looking for your dynamic tasks, the sort of tasks you can get anywhere, then you want to be looking in the TM dynamic file. Some tasks however are more area specific like um, if you're getting tasks from Sultan in Dark Valley or whatever, in that case you would go to the map itself so you'd go to maybe tm underscore dark valley dot ltx. So we're going to search through this file until we find the task we want. In this case it's the mob hit task from Sultan. And as you can see here we're going to copy this task text here. That's a little bit different to how it looked on the previous version, the previous method we used. But copy this text here. And then we're going to do the same thing back in the game where we'll open up the console, paste in the message from the description of this video that I've uh, put in there and then all we're going to do is we're going to delete out part of this so everything between the quotes and then paste in your task text so it should look a little different as you can see there it's a little different to how the previous task looked but paste that in there and then hit execute and there you go task done Okay, so that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you found it useful. If I've missed anything, please feel free to drop a line in the comments or if there's anything you'd like to add or any other questions you have. If I need to explain something a bit further, then comment away. But that's it from me. Thanks and we'll catch you next time. How do you like me now? You like that? Yeah. Get some, get some.